Hey you guys, it's a different look for me today and I think you're gonna enjoy this video because we are gonna do our hair, my hair, together. And today I'm gonna use the new GHD. This has only been out for a little bit of time. I'm a huge GHD fan. This is not a sponsored video. They did not send this to me. They did not pay for this in any way. I wish they did. It is $3.99, but it is said to be your flat iron and your blow dryer all in one. So uh, if you know me, I'm all about efficiency and helping you guys become the best version of yourself, but quickly, we don't have time for a lot of extra nonsense. So we are gonna see if this works and we're gonna do it together. Um, I picked this up at Nordstrom and I've seen every tutorial on their website that just shows you how simple it is to use. So we are going to see. So if you guys are ready to uh, do your hair with me today, then let's get started and see how this thing works. I don't know about you, but when I do my hair, I just feel like I need a lot of room, so we have moved to the floor. This GHD comes in just a nice size box like we would expect. It then comes with this nice little piece inside, like we would also expect. And then it comes with a nice little cover that is a little silicone rubber cover so that you can slip it right inside of there when you are done with it and ready for it to cool so that it doesn't burn any surfaces. All right, so this seems pretty easy to use, so we are gonna put it to the test and see. First thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of heat protectant, and this is by Kerastase. This is their blow dry heat protectant. Just rub a little bit of this all through my hair before we get to the blow dry section. And I am excited to use this. If it works, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Dyson, so I'm hoping this works as well as I want to because I'm a big fan of GHD. It stands for Good Hair Day. It's not why I love it, but I do really like this brand. So let's see how this works. It seems fairly easy. There are just two modes. There is dry, and then once you're done with dry, you turn it to shine shot, which is this button right here. And to get the dry part, we're just gonna turn that on and you'll hear the blow dryer kick up in just a second. So you can hear that. Now I have a cowlick, so I like to start with my bangs first and get them into a position before they dry on their own and come up with their own position. And then I'll start with a small section on the back and on each side about this wide. We'll dry it and we'll keep going that way until we get to the shine shot part. This is a little bit big, I have to say, and the fact that you have to keep opening it and closing it just takes a little bit of practice to sort of get the dexterity, I guess, to be able to maneuver it because it is a larger device. But once I, it took a few times, but now that I've got it, I feel more comfortable with it. And that was maybe the first, what, five minutes. So a little bit awkward, but not, not something we can't retrain our brain for. You can tell that this is in flat iron mode when this light around the on and off button is in a solid illuminated light. When it blinks, that means it's heating up. And now that it's solid, that tells me that the flat iron part, which are these plates on the inside, are heated and ready for flat ironing. It says in the direction several times that the shine shot is not to be used on wet hair. So I wanna be real careful of that. It does get super hot, you guys, but it goes from blow dryer mode into shine shot mode within seconds. But in order to go back to blow dryer mode, it can take up to two minutes. So in order to do that, you just hold and press the shine shot. As the LED light is blinking, that's letting you know that the plates are cooling from flat ironing it, and you're not to use this for a blow dryer until those plates have cooled and you'll hear a beep that's telling you that it's ready to blow dry. So you definitely want to do all of your blow drying first and then put this into flat iron mode and do all the flat ironing. You definitely want, wouldn't want to go section dry, section shine, section dry, section shine. It would take you way too long. I was just curious to see how shiny it would get and I'm pretty impressed. So we're gonna finish with the blow dryer part as soon as this is cool and ready to go. So there's the blow dryer sound and that LED sound that lets us know we are ready to go back to blow dry mode and that the plates are cool and safe to dry. What 
you guys, while that took a little bit longer than normally it would take me to dry my hair, just learning how to use this tool instead of using a round brush and a blow dryer was definitely easier once I got the hang of it. You absolutely want to use smaller sections so that you make sure everything gets dry. What I was going back and forth on is I like to flip my head in the beginning and make sure that my hair right at my scalp is nice and dry. Uh, and then I will go and do the rest of my hair. And I wasn't able to do that obviously with this because you don't have air blowing that way. It's really just coming through these two sides. So once I realized I could get closer to my root and blow dry out, it sort of gave me that dry feeling next to my scalp that I'm just used to from doing my hair that way for, you know, since the beginning of time practically. So it takes a little getting used to as does anything that's new. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I love how straight and shiny it looks and we haven't done the shine shot yet. So I haven't flat ironed it yet. Anytime I can reduce the amount of heat or styling products that I put on my hair, I am all for it. I do think that this gave less heat to the hair and yet a better blowout. This is much more of the blowout that I get when I go to the salon. So I'm loving that so far. Next time, I'm just gonna real quick do a shine shot just on the outer layers of the hair. There's really no reason to flat iron all the hair because underneath is is pretty straight from just using that blow dryer the way that we did. Like many of our styling products, the air intake for the blow dryer is right here at the bottom. So you just wanna be careful and aware of that as you're drying your hair, but it's far enough away from your hair that you shouldn't run into any suction issues. So let's go to the shine shot. It's supposed to take just a few seconds and there it is, we're ready to go. Now, a few other things to note about this, I could not find anywhere, you guys, on the website, so if you found this, please let me know in the comments below, how hot this flat iron gets. I don't like to use anything above 375 on a good day. Anything higher than that, it's gotta be really quick or else I just start to see damage. So many of my other GHD products don't go above 365. I don't know if that's the case here. Again, I've read all of their material and did not find anything that indicated how hot this flat iron gets. So to stay on the safe side, I just go real quick, a very fast pass. And it does say to just pass over the hair really quickly. Don't hold this flat iron, these plates or the blow dryer part on your hair for any length of time, definitely not longer than three to five seconds, which I didn't need to in order to get the dryness that I wanted. And really, I don't know that I'll need to to get the shine. Speaking of shine, one of the marketing features on this is that it gives two times more shine and leaves softness up to 48 hours. So that is a big plus in my book. And it also says that if it's not in use for 27 minutes, it will shut off. And if it is in use for up to 60 minutes, it will still shut off. So for those of you that are thinking about using this in a professional capacity, just know that after 60 minutes, it will shut off. But I can't imagine you needing between the blow dryer and the straight iron or the shine shot longer than 60 minutes at a time. But just know both of those safety features are built into this product. And I have naturally wavy hair and that blow dryer alone got rid of a lot of that wave, which is what I'm constantly struggling with when I'm blow drying my hair is to pull out that little wave. It's not quite enough wave to be a perm, but it's enough to be annoying. So that does take a little extra time and work to get those out with the round brush for me. So this on a blow dry side really did get rid of a lot of those waves so that when I go in with this shine shot, it's really just about giving it some shine. And it definitely does that you guys. So if you like to wear your hair pretty straight and you like to have minimal tools, then I think this would be a really good option for you. I am loving it. And I think with just time and use, then I'm gonna become more comfortable with it. And with that, we'll all become more efficient with it. But this will definitely start to replace, I think my blow dryer and my flat iron processes together. I think this is a big time saver with better results than blow drying and a flat iron. The other thing I'm noticing is that as I have a gray hair or two or several, those are a little bit thicker and they tend to have a little bit of a life of their own. I don't know if you guys are experiencing that for those of you that are going, starting to get gray. Gray hairs just are, they're more coarse and they're unruly. So during the blow dry and the styling of my hair, it's usually a lot of effort to get those flyaway grays to line themselves with the rest of the hairstyle. But I don't see those as much today after using this blow dry part and definitely not after using this shine shot. So I 
am sold. I got my hair done in about 10 to 15 minutes less time than I normally do using this. So I am sold. I'm really glad I picked it up and I hope you guys found this product review helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.